Yeah, that's right. Welcome in. Welcome back, folks, to a, if you were a Notre Dame fan, whatever you felt deep inside your soul and your heart and your mind Saturday night, that emotion, whatever those feelings and thoughts were that were in your soul that you didn't choose to have come up, that just came to you. That's the definition of the Freeman Factor edition of the Always Irish Show. Thanks for being here, folks. Uh, Again, still apologize for the voice. Long last few days of yelling and talking and then recording and then yelling. Forgive me. Bear with me. I'll try and not make it too rough. YouTube, obviously, hit subscribe if you're already here. You may as well do so. Give the video a thumbs up. That helps me as well. Notifications on. You'll be alerted every time a new episode drops. You don't want to miss it. Twitter, search bar, always Irish. Rat. Always Irish. Emails, always Irish. ND at gmail.com. Audio only. Anywhere you want me, you can get me. Call in line 312 9815. Full call in lines on the Monday morning show. Love to see it. Fighting Irish Wire, make it a part of your routine. Hit the favorite tab, go there every day, see what we got. This week's ton of material. Because there's just so much changes with this one Clemson performance. There's just a lot more meat on the bone to explore Notre Dame land. Now we're going to do it. Irish Wire, hit it every week, every day. So, what a special night. Whether you were there in person or watched on TV, it was just special. To a lot of people, it feels like the unofficial, official start of the Freeman era. Uh, And I've said it multiple times already, but for me, when it clicked, was the halftime bounce. We had the scuffle. We played a good half, just scored, and then sacked them at the end of the game, the end of the half. That was the moment for me. Though our guys seeing the helmets jumping up and down, all of them, going into that locker room at halftime, that felt like, to me, a knob being turned from off to on or from low to high, whatever you want to say it, I felt like that was the damn start of something I'm going to like. I'm going to like, I knew in that moment, Notre Dame wasn't going to lose this game. It wasn't even possible. And I never feel that about Notre Dame. Nobody should ever feel that about Notre Dame, especially the last 30 years. You knew in that moment, I saw them guys bouncing. This is a different team for whatever reason this week. They're going to win this game. and, And they did. So I always talk about the Freeman factor. And I did when he was hired. I did when he was the DC. And by the Freeman factor, I always meant that I felt Marcus has that it factor personality trait that can get the most out of people and groups. I feel like his personality is the kind that could get his guys to play better than they probably should on paper or to come up in the biggest moments and play the best. Lou had this. Frank had this. And you can't teach it. You can't. Frank and Lou are natural, naturally gifted motivators, communicators. It naturally came came to those guys. I think Marcus has a lot of that in him. I do. These are guys like Lou and Frank. They could get more out of their team than most expected. And when it's needed most. Notre Dame played the best game I've seen him play in like 20-something years against an undefeated, top four ranked, title pedigree head coach, winning school, with a roster that has major flaws and dominated them all night at home. If that's not an it factor, I don't know what is. 
because the talent didn't upgrade 100% from Stanford to this. Something changed, and I'm here for it. Something changed, and I'm here for it. So we haven't seen, I'm telling you, I haven't seen this good of a performance 25 years. When you adjust for opponent rank, opponent record, final score. Find me one better, find me a better Notre Dame game in the last 30 years. You can't. There isn't one. This was it. Kelly never made us feel like this at any point ever. Ever. Even Oklahoma in 2012 did not hit like this. This is different, and I love it. This is the upside of Freeman. That extra gear, that extra amount, you get wherever that level you think settles. And if you have a guy who knows how to build this upright and motivate, you can get a little more. That's what we got in a huge moment. He found a way to cultivate that extra vibe, extra gear, extra level, whatever it is. And it was magical. It just feels so different. It honestly feels like Freeman wants to win for each and every one of us individually. And we all want him to win so that everybody's proud of him and thinks a lot of him because we all like him and think he's so genuine. That's a guy you just want to do well. He wanted to stay with the fans on the field and not go back in the locker room. Like you feel like Marcus genuinely cares about you personally as a Notre Dame fan. It was like, this was just like some big catharsis group healing bonding session. And it was amazing. It just was. So it's hard to give an exact definition of the Freeman factor. I can't measure it. I can't give you an equation. Tell you what to input the value on the calculator. No. I can't give you an exact definition of what I mean by the Freeman factor. But just that feeling that this dude just has that it. And I just believe in that. And here's the best way I can put it as far as defining the Freeman factor. This will hit every single one of you. Whatever feeling you had the second you knew Morrison was going to return that pick six all the way for a touchdown. Whatever feeling you had inside you in that moment, when you knew he was going all the way and this ball game was over. That's the definition of the Freeman factor. Whatever that was, think back. Think back. Whatever those feelings were in that exact moment when you knew he was going all the way to the house. That's the definition of the Freeman factor. And it's a feeling you never, ever came close to having under Kelly, ever. He wouldn't allow it, wouldn't allow it by the way he coached, the way he recruited and his personality. Kelly didn't want the relationship Marcus has with us. Didn't interest Kelly. Okay. It's just a different ball game now. Different ball game now. So I, I just, for Notre Dame, not only to win a top five game, but to dominate and send the crowd home early. It's just outrageous. Whatever this vibe is and was in that building Saturday night that I had coursing through my veins, whatever that is, it's, it's the vibe that has to be for Notre Dame to get where they ultimately want to go. I'm sorry. That Kelly vibe wasn't it. It just never felt like it fully clicked. You never felt like Kelly fully bought into Notre Dame. Like it was just a career stop. Nothing more. Marcus takes Notre Dame more personally, and I appreciate it. He just does. He just does, and it makes a difference. It, it gets people to buy in. 
You just feel like Marcus cares about everything openly, genuinely. I don't know. But whatever the vibe is that we had going on Saturday, that's the one Notre Dame football's needed and had an ad forever. And now you have it. Keep on to it. Don't lose it. So everybody should be happy right now. Um, best Notre Dame win in 28, 30 years. Here's the best part. It's just gonna keep getting better. Look at what Marcus just did with this limited roster. Look at what he did. Imagine what these higher efficiency games from us look like with proper talent in all the areas. That's what's coming next. That is by far the best part of all this. This is the worst roster Freeman's ever going to have in Notre Dame. Look what he got him to do. This is the leakiest roster he's going to have with major shortcomings in certain areas. Look what he just got him to do. So if that's possible, get excited about when all this young talent gets in here. It's going to be great. So just like in dating, folks, it just feels right. I just, it feels so different with Marcus. Everything does. It just feels right. And this vibe is what I think it takes to win at Notre Dame. And I mean it. When I define the Freeman factor, it is whatever you felt in that moment, you knew Morrison was gone. Whatever that feeling was in you, that's the Freeman factor. I'm here for a lot more of it. Let's go.